In this video, I will cover a practical problem how to determine the total drag force acting on a structure. So the problem is a 25 meters high and 1.2 meter in diameter tidal structure is exposed to uniform 1.5 meters per second flow. We can neglect the turbine rotor effect and take seawater density and kinematic viscosity at standard conditions. So we need to do describe the flow pattern that will be observed at such flow speed. Then we need to calculate the total drag force acting on the turbine structure. And we also need to determine the shading frequency for vague vortices using the Struhel number. To describe the flow pattern around the structure, we need to calculate the Reynolds number. Reynolds number is calculated as flow velocity multiplied by the structure diameter divided by kinematic viscosity. And we calculate Reynolds number to be around 1.7 multiplied by 10 power 6. So now using relationship between drag coefficient and Reynolds number, we can identify the flow pattern around the structure. To identify the flow pattern around the structure, I will use a diagram that shows a relationship between drag coefficient and Reynolds number and also shows the flow patterns of the flow around the structure for different Reynolds numbers. For our problem, Reynolds number is around 1.7 multiplied by 10 power 6 and our flow pattern is shown on the last diagram. And at this Reynolds number, there is a well-developed vague region behind the structure with flow separation, showing that the total drag on the turbine structure is mainly due to pressure drag. As you can see on this diagram, we have two flow separation points and the flow separation region behind the structure. And flow separation is a flow pattern when flow remains no longer attached to the solid boundary. Now we need to calculate the total drag force acting on the turbine structure. We will use standard equation where reference area is taken as the frontal projected area and for our structure is calculated as diameter of the structure multiplied by the height of the structure. And we can rewrite drag force equation as shown on this slide. To calculate the total drag force, we need drag coefficient. We will determine drag coefficient using a diagram that shows relationship of the drag coefficient and Reynolds number. And we will use line for the smooth circular cylinder as our structure. In our example, we estimated the Reynolds number to be around 1.7 multiplied by 10 power 6. And we obtain drag coefficient number to be approximately 0.5. And now we can calculate the total drag force, and this would be 17.3 kilonewtons. In the final part of the problem, we need to determine the shading frequency for vague vortices using the Struhal number, and also explain what measures can be used to prevent vortex-induced vibrations of the turbine structure. To determine the vortex shading frequency, we use relationship that is obtained for the circular cylinder for the Struhal number. Struhal number is defined as diameter of the cylinder multiplied by vortex shading frequency and divided by flow velocity. And for high Reynolds number greater than 1000, this Struhal number is approximately constant and is equal to around 0.21. And we use this relationship to obtain the vortex shading frequency. And for our problem, this is equal approximately 0.26 Hz. To prevent vortex-induced vibrations of the turbine structure, we can use spiral veins that will destroy periodic flow separations.